The International Space Station, or ISS, has been in lower Earth orbit since 1998, and astronauts started to use this in November 2000, when the first module providing long-life support as well as a control system was added to the first two modules. Since then, the ISS has hosted more than 250 astronauts from 20 countries, most of which have been from the US and Russia. It is an international cooperative project involving NASA, CSA, ESA, JAXA, and Roscosmos. Over the years, these agencies assembled the largest space station and extensive construction ever put into space. The ISS flies above us at 248 miles, in the orbit where space telescopes and artificial satellites can be found. But there isn't a single location of ISS because the station is orbiting the Earth at an average speed of 17,300 miles per hour, and the velocity is pretty common for objects in lower orbit. In the case of the ISS, the speed allows it to make an entire orbit around the world 16 times a day in 90 minutes. There is no day or night when traveling through different time zones quickly. Astronauts at ISS can see 16 sunrises or sunsets every day. What was the ISS created for? Created specifically for scientific purposes, the ISS derives from the NASA project known as Freedom. Freedom was a project conceived in the 80s after the Apollo crewed moon landing program ended primarily due to budget constraints. By that time, humanity had stepped on the moon with different opportunities. It includes Apollo 11 and 12 in 1969, Apollo 14 and 15 in 1971, and Apollo 16 and 17 in 1972. So, space agencies turned to develop the crewed space station to conduct research to make Earth and celestial observation as the transportation as well as servicing node for space satellites or vehicles and to serve as a staggering base for deep space exploration, like to explore Mars and prospect of a crewed mission to Mars. So, a permanently crewed station can serve the test spacecraft, evaluating the possibilities of carrying out long-term operations in space. Moreover, astronauts also conduct scientific research on astrobiology, space weather, astronomy, physics, space medicine, and other fields at the microgravity laboratories of ISS. The ISS astronauts are also believed to have conducted around 3,000 scientific experiments by 2020. The International Space Station has uncovered many discoveries, but the recent one is surprising. They detected some unusual things while being in the vacuum for so long. The tracker has discovered something mysterious that scientists don't know much about. The ISS tracker provided the image, and as per that, there is a faint elongated white shape with a negro of faint white dots next to it set against the blackness of space below the Earth's curve. No one knows what exactly this thing is, but the space station's camera caught it during their live feed. The massive structures were suspected to be analyzed by UFOs, and extra cell life has always been an exciting topic for human beings, scientists as well as astronomers. There are possibilities of life in the universe, but scientists have dismissed the idea. They also dismissed that aliens are visiting Earth, but due to strange sightings captured by distant probes, they hope to discover some traces of life beyond Earth. Since space exploration began, humans were always keen to know about life outside Earth, considering the alleged UFO sighting by NASA. The sighting also announced that it would set up a team to see how much information is available on UFOs and how much more is required to understand unexplained physics. NASA is also launching a study of UFOs to push it toward high-risk and high-impact science. This step is taken with an unidentified aerial phenomenon that has left people with various unanswered questions, while scientists try their best to know more about alien life. That's not it, as scientists also discovered a powerful explosion in space. Moreover, astronomers observe this extraordinarily colossal boom. The Swift Observatory of NASA is specifically designed to spot the powerful known explosions in the universe today, known as gamma ray bursts, which detected a strong such burst. Something potent must produce these jets of energy traveling through space, and scientists say they're caused by the explosion and collapse of enormous stars known as supernova. For a star to go to supernova, it should be quite massive, around 8 times the size of the sun, but for a supernova to produce the strongest type of gamma ray burst, the star must be around 30 to 40 times the size of the sun. This new powerful detection is so rare that we will likely only observe something of this magnitude around once a decade arriving from a mighty star. It's a unique event, and an astronomer or postdoctoral fellow, Yvette Sendes from Harvard Smithsonian Center of Astrophysics, considers this to be massive. But you need not worry. This terrific explosion happened in a galaxy two billion years away. At this distance, 
The energy spreading and traveling through space for eons poses no danger to us, but with satellites, we can detect it easily. Moreover, it's highly equivalent to getting front row seats at a fireworks show as the astronauts and gamma rays are supposed to be on a similar radiation spectrum as AM or FM radio, X-rays and visible light you can see. However, gamma rays have the highest energy. This is incredibly rare, and astronomers have never seen a gamma ray burst in our galactic neighborhood, and that's because stellar explosions themselves are not so common. A star in our Milky Way galaxy will go supernova around the century, and the massive star, the type that is required to make extremely bright or long gamma ray bursts, only explodes once every million years in a medium-sized galaxy like ours. Gamma rays bursts are also detected far away because numerous galaxies are out in the deep cosmos teaming up with stars. There are some opportunities for such events to happen near us, which is all compared to the wider universe. What's more for you? To detect these, you need to face the direction of the funnel of energy radiated into space by the blast. As these gamma rays bursts often happen billions of light years away, the instruments are built to detect these signals, but they are again extremely sensitive. So that is yet another reason this detection is so bright and intense. It's like pointing a telescope at the sun and saturating the detectors. The blasts rank among the most luminous events known. NASA also said that after such a dramatic collapse and explosion, you might be wondering what happens to the exploded star. It most likely turned into a black hole. According to NASA, most black holes form from the remnants of a large star that dies in a supernova explosion. AI in Space The potential of AI for space exploration is huge. Numerous applications of AI can improve the future of space exploration missions from optimized mission operations and greater planetary navigation to analyzing astronaut biometric data or enhancing knowledge discovery. AI will drastically change robotics from operating within known and static environments to a new intelligent breed capable of moving quickly with greater autonomy and the ability to generalize to unforeseen environments and circumstances. Advanced manipulation is a critical benchmark of space robotics for carrying out emerging space exploration applications such as resource utilization and infrastructure construction. Robots have been used in space missions for decades because they work in harsh and hazardous environments where humans would be at risk. Robots excel at tedious tasks, allowing astronauts to focus on higher value activities that require more complex problem solving and task orientation in the case of human-robot collaboration. While robots have been used in space exploration missions since 1967, the history of artificial intelligence dates back to 1998, with an AI algorithm called Remote Agent Onboard, the Deep Space 1A Comet Pro. Since then, there have been numerous other applications of AI for space exploration missions, including algorithms that give planetary surface rovers greater autonomy, AI for discovering new exoplanets, and AI-powered assistance aboard the International Space Station. Artificial intelligence has enormous potential to improve in-space navigation, particularly for probes exploring the outer reaches of our solar system. However, the frequency of ground operation communication is insufficient to allow for continuous human monitoring of changing and potentially hazardous situations. Greater autonomy is a massive enabler for increased mission complexity and the chance of success for a spacecraft to travel distances of outer space. Human intervention is difficult and limited due to the massive lag in transmission across space. Probes cannot wait for mission control and Earth to instruct them during interstellar missions. As a result, an AI command computer on board the probe is required to navigate the probe and deal with course corrections and communications. What do you think about the discoveries by the International Space Station tracker? Do you think this mysterious object is dangerous for Earth? Share in the comments below and subscribe for more.